Hi everybody. Just got back from my first primitive trail since lockdown. Uh, it was a mentorship trail with quite a small group. It was just myself, Leighton, then Cameron Pierce and his brother Clayton, and Dylan Bernstein, who's a, an American and a, a traveling yoga teacher, so a very interesting chap. Um, Cameron was there to log hours towards his SKS Dangerous Game qualification. He not, needed to log um, hours on primitive trail, so he's a very experienced guide as it is. And his brother Clayton um, is an apprentice logging towards lead. So basically Clayton led the entire trail and Cameron backed up um, in order for them both to log hours. So we did the trail on Kirkia property um, as well as venturing onto Kambaku. Um, it was generally quite a quiet trail but it was just you know not too many animals about but just lucky to be out in the bush again and a really awesome group um, and everyone got on like a house on fire and it was just a great time out in the bush. So first afternoon we parked our cars at Kirkia farmhouse, went and sat in the riverbed and did a nice extended briefing. Then we walked uh, downstream towards, um, well along the, the Zebanine River towards our water drop. Um, pretty quiet afternoon we ended up uh, finding a spot in the riverbed to camp uh, then we went to the water drop and actually while we were pouring water from from the water drop into our bottles um, the guys spotted a leopard on the other side of the riverbed unfortunately Leighton and I didn't see it we were busy um, you know dealing with the water but anyway we we sort of quickly left things and went to try and follow up but unfortunately no luck um, the the leopard had seen us and they saw it sort of sneaking off and then you know jogging away so you know, it's it's extremely difficult once a leopard has seen you and moved off. Um, to get another glimpse of it is is very difficult, difficult and hardly ever happens. But you know, you you can't ignore it. You got to give it a go. Anyway, we had a nice uh, night in the riverbed. It was but it was cold. Um, this entire tr trail actually was freezing at night. Um, we we survived the night and next morning packed up and actually started heading back upstream um, with the aim of going back past the, the Kirkia farmhouse and camping upstream on the river further a few kilometers um, north of the uh, sorry southwest of the farmhouse but along the way we picked up some rhino tracks and we got on them and they were probably from early evening uh, the night before the when we did get dung it was cold ice ice cold still holding that that really cold um, early morning chill but as we followed we we've saw where well initially it was just one bull and we we followed him for a while we saw where he slept and then where he fed probably in the early morning um, and then a bit further on we saw where he joined up with a cow and a calf um, and by this stage it was almost lunchtime or it was a, probably about 11 o'clock we had been following for about two kilometers so we we, we dropped our bags um, under some nice shade trees and went back on the tracks and literally as we got back on the tracks we were anticipating that they'd be lying up um, but we got ox pickers flying up and using the wind to our advantage we made a nice approach and we got them all sleeping there and Clayton did very well we managed to get a good view and, and backed out without them picking us up um, so very very rewarding to pick up cold tracks follow them for a good couple of hours and then and then pick up the rhinos sleeping without them knowing that we were there and do a perfect approach it was it was brilliant and we went and had a siesta and then after siesta we try to actually loop around where we thought the rhinos were and probably about 10 minutes into the walk we bumped into them a few hundred meters further up and so we did another approach the conditions were different and again managed to get a good sighting without them picking us up i think the bull heard something he knew there was something there but he wasn't quite sure so we we left um we didn't overstay our welcome um then we we carried on and we made camp on a bit of a sodic sort of grassy area and the wind had picked up quite a bit now cold front had come over um so we ended up camping around this little pan and making the fire in the pans you know it was a bit protected and prevents or hopefully prevent uh sparks or anything from blowing onto the grass and we had a quite a, a like a night there um had a couple of uh, visitors with well, some hyenas came to to check us out um, and uh, not as cold as the previous night being out of the riverbed but not as comfortable with the wind anyway in the next morning actually while I was taking the spade for a walk to go and dig a hole uh, bumped into another hyena that was lying up just outside of camp 
which ran off and apparently while I was away another two walked past camp so quite a lot of hyena activity in the area from there we started making our way um, to northwest uh, towards back up towards the Zevenin we went on to Kambaku and we went to Kambaku Dam and ended up st stopping there for for a break and for, for siesta but it was very quiet not much going on we saw a couple of giraffe and, and some zebra but otherwise generally a very quiet day um, a couple of hippo in the dam uh, after lunch we then made our way back to the Zevenin uh, we tried to dig for water on one of the big bends but uh, yeah the, the river's too dry the water level is too low so ended up going to one of the other water drops to collect some water and then even though we knew it was going to be cold we chose the comfort of the riverbed and camped in the riverbed that night and uh, yee. yeah it was uh, frighteningly cold I ended up on my watch putting a uh, actually no before my watch putting a rock in the fire and then wrapping it in in my kikoi and putting it by my feet so that kept me warm now I ended up having last um, duty the last shift from four to six because it was such a small group we had two hour watch duty watch shifts and it was just it was stunning there there was a crescent moon but the stars were still bright it was crisp i was hugging the fire trying to keep warm and then just just as it started like lighting up on the eastern horizon some ground hornbills started calling behind us jackals were going heard some hyenas doing a bit of a greeting ceremony presumably coming back from a forage um, and it was a beautiful morning absolutely stunning um, and it but it was so cold when everybody woke up we ended up just like huddling around the fire for another hour and then as this you know as the sun hit the riverbed we just stood in the shade chatting for a couple well, at least until about half past eight it was just so chilled and lekker and just good conversation we solved some global issues and discussed world politics and yeah, um, you know with the perspective that we had gained over the last few days anyway from there oh, we did a little little walk we packed up our bags and then did a little walk without the the packs just to have a look at tracks and see what if anything had been around the camp just for about an hour or so came back to the packs and then picked them up and oh, it was about an hour oh, sorry about a kilometer and a half walk back to Kia, Kia camp and uh, back to our vehicles to end the trail so magic first trail back as I say not not much big game in the area of no recent sign of elephant or buffalo or lion uh, a lot of leopard sign actually um, incredible amount of leopard sign um, and then a little bit of rhino sign obviously we got the with the rhino so you know not, still some game and that's not uh, the most important thing the most important thing is just being out there and uh, it was great to be back sleeping under the stars even though it was um, a bit too chilled for comfort but Next time I'm going to pack an extra jersey, an extra pair of socks and potentially an extra beanie. But anyway, good to be back and uh, off on trail again in a couple of days. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be great and be sure to give you an update.